The first try on Saturday night was scored by the visiting Warriors. Honolulu, Hawaii. O'Malley, the loop around, good skills, ball in one hand, keeps it alive, Reeves into put on the far side. It's the opening try, and the force is certainly worth the Warriors. They get it down, and it's Josh Anderson. The Warriors just did a splendid job using the ball to their advantage, getting it outside to their speed. The big playmaker on that bus by O'Malley. Let's look at a little wraparound right here. O'Malley, once he gets by Luke White, then has the presence, just that little fend off, gets it out wide to Anderson. Anderson with a clean path to the try line. A great start for this Utah team. With both teams down to man, Glendale struck back. Lieber, but here goes Malifa, the dummy. They don't bite on that one. You missed it, Seven. And Elkington. Advantage. Couldn't get that on the occasion, so here they go. DTS, the one-handed flick. Ryberg! Johnny Ryberg! He's over! His mother Susan sent me a Facebook request. I'm going to click accept. <laughs> Johnny, John Ryberg would try number 12. Yep. Referee Scott Green was playing the advantage. No, fair enough. And then out to Malefa. Good quick hands on the outside, Chad London. DTS back inside. Ryberg still had plenty of work to do, but again, he is just a hard man to bring down. Goes right through Anderson, right through Don Potty. But just like that, Glendale back in the game. The Raptors took the lead after a lineout in close. Daly leads the league and lineout takes now this evening. Now peels away, Tatamai. Al Jaburi, good hands. Pizza, Robbie Pizza is over! Well, the Jedi Knight lightsabers his way through the defense and it's try number two for the Raptors. A good rolling ball. Al Jabori so good with ball in hand as we've seen throughout this MLR. High tackle attempt, Robbie Petzer going through that attempt. The first step tackle so important for Utah. They failed twice on the try scored by Glendale. A good determined run by Robbie Petzer. Almost immediately, Petzer scored again. With Al Jabori on that far Good side. Point. Al Jabori to the halfway line. Turns it into Ryberg. Ryberg still going. The Beefcakes takes three with him. Petzer, what a line from Robbie Petzer. Where does he come from? He's come from the Galaxy. What a score. Wow, he did come from a great depth. Sean Davies saw it. Great communication. And Robbie Petzer at full gas. And again, the setup work. First was... Luke White, Johnny Ryberg, Melon El Jabori, all three strong runs. There's Ryberg just finishing this off, and he's not in your picture yet, but all of a sudden Petzer just comes flying in. Huge gap in that Utah defense. And then he just skirted by Don Potty. Glendale's next score came from a stolen lineout. Malifa, the dummy to Petsa with a fan, Petsa back on the inside, Chad London! An early birthday present for the center, Petsa the creator, London the scorer. Petsa again with his hand in all the action. Sean Davies though did really well getting that ball out free. And Daly another strong run, he and Luke White have done very well. Let's see Sean Davies finally gets it out here. I think Petsa stepped in front of this ball. And then he did well to break away from that first tackle and then put Chad London all in the clear. Good work again by this Glendale backline. Very impressed with Petzer. Have been all season, but he's having a sterling game so far in this one. The Raptors open the second half with a real beauty. Chad Goff. Wonderful breakout from Goff. Oh. What a pickup. DTS. That is ridiculous. And they'll streak through. Han Solo. Known as Sean Davies in these parts, gets another Raptors on fire. Utah fought back with a second five pointer. Ika goes to the narrow side. Vandenberg keeps it alive. More, Gannon, more, cuts back in. More, they can't get his jersey. He'll go underneath the sticks. He'll score try number two for the Utah Warriors. Good score by Utah. Gannon Moore nearly had a couple of tries. Earlier in this contest, finally able to get past that Glendale defense. He was getting off that turnover ball. Good hard run here by Vandenberg. He finds Gannon Moore and back on the inside. Just able to elude that outstretched arm of Harley Davidson. And Gannon Moore, a lot of power in that midfield for Utah. Finally gets them back on the board. DTS was next on the Raptors score sheet. Yeah. Lance 
Williams on new the wrong advantage. side of the ruck, so another advantage. You're on advantage number two, it's new. Quick ball, Tanamai. Good carry from him and offload from Luke you're White. You're off Steven, you're off Steven. Still they roll to the right hand side. The Glendale Raptors, McGee to the line. Oh, what a ball! Dylan Taikato Simpson! And that dive is something out of this world! Well, once again, doing a great job creating space. Will McGee that time looked like he was going to hit the line, but again found that loopy the player. There. There's McGee right around the outside of Petzer. Even though he didn't touch it, Petzer's still involved in the try for Glendale. Took out a couple of Utah defenders and that, but things wide open for Dylan Taikato Simpson. Then Chad London dotted down for his second. For Fida. Gets over the advantage line. McGee now finds Petzer, short ball, London, the rhinoceros into the wild and over the try zone. Looking too easy now for this Glendale Raptor squad. The backs have really benefited from some really good quality ball by the forwards, but how about that short pass? Petzer again in the play, that nice flat yeah, ball to Chad one. London, able to ground that ball. And again, that's a really good display by this Glendale Raptor squad today. That was followed by Petz's third. The jump step from Taikato Simpson, the one-handed offload. What a pickup as well from O'Neill. Sheer class. Advantage and is London on. gets the chunky legs revving. It's man of the match. Robbie Petz, I'm going to call it now. Petz has a hat trick. And he set up a try in this game, kicked every single kick. What a performance. The guy has been all over the place, eight for eight on his kick so far. Chad London does a lot of work here. Great setup play by the entire Glendale Raptor squad. And London with that last finishing pass. Petzer's the one who dished off to London for one of his early tries. And now it returns the favor to Robbie Petzer. Utah got their third late in the contest. Whoopi with a dummy. Gets his offload to Reeves, great interplay. Josh Reeves for the line. Drag just short, gets the pass. Yes. Matt yes. Jensen has scored. It's try number three. The Warriors knocking on the door for the bonus point. Yeah, it was a nice break by Reeves though, he did well. Thought Reeves was gonna get in, DTS finally brought him down just short of the line. But he did well to get it to Jensen. Jensen with those long arms able to ground that ball. That's a long reach. Was the Here's Reeves, good, good effort though off the floor. And then with Bateman all over him and Will McGee it looks like as well. Yeah, good touchdown by Matt Jensen. The Raptors capped the night with their ninth try. The state and international level. Played with the rugby Utah selects. Intercept and Cruze. Mika Cruze! His brother sang the anthem! And that is so sweet! What a night for the family! Yeah, it was a great national anthem that got this Glendale team fired up. You saw Mika Cruze go over to his brother, congratulate him how proud he was yeah, of that song. And it's Mika Cruze who's going to have the last smile here for the Cruze family. Just steps right in front of this pass, not advised. Mika Cruze just stepped in front of that wide open to the try line, try number nine. Final play of the game here, the Glendale Raptors. Keep working. And it's Bateman that puts an end to this clash. The Glendale Raptors remain unbeaten at home in 2019. They win for the sixth time here in Infinity Park. And more importantly, they keep pushing for the top four spots in Major League Rugby playoffs. They win here 64 to 22. After the match, Viz and I spoke with Raptors coach Dave Williams. A slow start, but what did you say to the troops to get on fire? I mean, 60 points is very impressive against that Utah outfit. Just six to the basics. It's a very simple game, rugby. And uh, we just went away from our basics, away from our shape in the first half. When we started making breaks, we got out of our shape. But once we stuck to our shape, they couldn't handle us. And, and Dave, great work by your forwards. I mean, the backs get a lot of credit, Dave, but you got to be pretty happy with how your forward pack led. Made the forwards win the game. It's as simple as that. They, they did lose a huge amount of credit, both this game and obviously against Rooney as well. And now we need to back it up next week against Houston because they gave us a tough go in a set piece last time. Yeah, speaking against Houston, they got off that big lead last time and then you guys fought back. What, what are you going to tell your team this week before that match? It's really just a physicality. If we, can, if we can match Houston's physicality up front, that's really all they've got, let's be fair. You know, they've got some danger in the back, you know, with a, a Sam Windsor and Threat and Palamo, you know, but with our shape, with what we can do with the ball in hand, 
you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident we can beat most defences, but we've got to stick to the plan. In every game, so important this is MLR. I mean, you got to be pretty impressed with the play. What's the rest of the, what's the key the rest of the way? Just sticking to the basics. Like sticking to our structure, everybody buys in. Keep working hard on the fence because we did really well last week in defence. I thought we did a lot better this this tonight as well. We just got to bring it next week. Well, well thank you, Coach Dave Williams. We also had a chance to chat with the Raptor of the match, Robbie Petza. Uh, tell us about the game. How did you feel about it? Oh yeah, I mean, couldn't ask for something better, but a uh, bit of a slow start. But uh, thanks to the boys. I uh, couldn't have done it without them. Well, tell us about your game, personal game. Of course, you've been a great addition to the side, but it looks like you personally have a lot of chemistry with the team and you, you seem to run from depth out of nowhere and the team still picks you up. Yeah, I mean, uh, we have such a great team and I mean, we, we always say we're brothers and it kind of feels like that on the team. And uh, yeah, we all just click and yeah, it's fun to play with the boys. Okay, so, so you're going to talk to the screen here. You're going to talk yeah. to some of your tries. This is two of your three scores. Oh man, I mean, Sean Davies just picked me up there, right time, right place. Uh, I mean, yeah, another another great break by Chad London. I mean, he's awesome out there. I'm, I'm just running off him. And hey, Robbie, yeah. it seemed like uh, in games past it, it hasn't clicked, but it seemed like you put it all together tonight. What was the special? What was the secret? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's a it's a secret. I mean, obviously we started a bit slow, but uh, if we stick to our guns and we stick to our shape, I mean, we're pretty dangerous, and uh, we just have to stick to that. Congratulations, Congratulations Robbie. Great yeah, game. Thanks a lot, guys. Best of luck the rest of the yeah. way. Thanks.